Hi, it's Everyman Tactical today, and uh, for my New Year's Eve video, I'm gonna do something a little bit funnier uh, that I find funny. Uh, you may not, but um, it's it's gonna be a, a common uh, misusage video that's gonna allow for you to uh, post this link on people's pages who um, don't uh, necessarily know what they're talking about, or, or or maybe they're trying to sound cool. But this will allow you to avoid writing that long paragraph out. Also, because um, Wesley, if you're at the range and someone is, uses these, you can go, hey, hold on, I got a video for you. Um, so you don't have to sit there and explain, you can just tell them to look up the video. So first we're going to go over uh, my biggest pet peeve. This is a clip. This is a magazine. This is a clip. This is a magazine. Now the definition of each. A clip is a loading device. It is usually a bent piece of sheet metal, as you can see, that facilitates the loading or charging of loaded ammunition or loaded cartridges into a magazine or feeding device. Weapons that use clips um, are the SKS, the, the Mauser K98, uh, the Lee Enfield rifle, uh, the, and the, uh, the M1 Grand. Uh, they use clips to load cartridges into the magazine of a weapon. So if you are out of the range and you say, hey man, throw me a clip, I'm gonna throw one of these at you as hard as I possibly can to hopefully knock some information into you. So, um, this, let me go off the definition of a magazine. A magazine is a spring-fed device uh, that holds loaded ammunition to facilitate the chambering of ammunition or the loading of ammunition. So that out of the way, let's move on to another thing that I, I, I sometimes hear. Um, this is a shell. As you can see, this is a 12 gauge double lot buck shell. This is not a shell. This is a cartridge. You can also call it ammunition. Uh, those terms are interchangeable, but shell and Cartridge or not. Um, a, a shell is almost always designated with either a shotgun or an artillery piece. Um, you can use artillery shells. That's also another proper usage of that word. Um, also, one thing that's not interchangeable. This is not a bullet. This is a bullet. A bullet is the component of a loaded cartridge that exits the barrel. It is usually loaded into the brass uh, casing with a primer in the end and powder inside. Um, so this is the bullet again. This is a cartridge. So when you ask for a, when you, when you say you have a box of bullets for sale, I think you mean this. As you can see, this is a box of bullets. Okay? This is a box of cartridges. You can also call it ammunition. Like I said, it's not a big deal to call it ammunition because that's what it is. Um, my final statement, I wish I had one to show you because they're actually pretty awesome pistols, but a Glock 40 um, is a, a marvelous uh, engineering design um, made by Glock. Um, it is a 10 millimeter auto match pistol with a uh, six inch barrel. Um, extended uh, sights so that you know the sight uh, the distance between the sights is greater allowing for highly accurate shooting and they retail between seven and uh, eight hundred dollars depending on where you get them so um, that being said the word Glock followed by a number does not have anything to do with what caliber it shoots okay my Glock 19 does not shoot a mysterious caliber called 19 caliber. It's not what it is. A Glock uh, 22 does not shoot 20, uh, you know, 22 long rifle. Okay. If you have a Glock 40, please check the side of the slide. It will tell you its model number, which will be 22, 23, or 27. If you have a Glock that is in 45, you either have a Glock 21 or a Glock 30 
or you have one of their match pistols, which is up there in the, in the 40s. But you, you do not have a Glock 45. No one makes them. They don't exist. Um, and my last statement is um, when, when I ask you what type of gun you have, and you say, I have a 40 Smith & Wesson, I assume you have a Smith & Wesson in 40 cal. Um, and then you show me a high point in 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, that's, that's not what it is. Smith & Wesson was the original manufacturer of uh, that round itself. It, it was not... Um, it, it was not the type of gun that it fired out of. 40 caliber means 0 .40 of an inch. So, this is .223 caliber, okay? It's .223 of an inch. This is a 9mm, which is metric, okay? Um, so there you go. There's my video on that. Um, if you have anything to say, good for you. But uh, if you want to use this video, I feel free to copy and paste like crazy to uh, kind of spread that knowledge around. And uh, so you don't have to look like an asshole. I can be the asshole for you. I enjoy it. I relish in it. And, uh, you know, you can have a lot of fun um, kind of educating the masses. So when a guy, um, let's say on one of the Texas uh, gun trader pages or, or one of the Facebook gun trader pages says, I have a Glock 40 with two clips and a box of shells, um, you can go, wow, he has a really nice 10 millimeter Glock with two stripper clips. So somehow someone has milled the slide to allow these, these, these clips to load straight into the magazine and for some reason he's selling a, a box of 12 gauge shotgun shells with this with this miraculous weapon who knows maybe he thinks you have a shotgun but that way you can educate these people and uh you can have fun with it so that being said um it's, it's new year's eve happy new year's everyone uh go shoot some fireworks off and uh you guys stay safe out there it's every man tactical